find the x coordinate of each relative minimum of f on the interval from negative 2 to 3. Justify your answers. F has only one relative minimum on the interval from negative 2 to 3 at the value x equals 1 because this is the only x value on that interval where f prime of x changes sign from negative to positive. Explain why there must be a value c for the interval from negative 1 to 1 such that f double prime of c equals 0. Since f is a twice differentiable function, ah. according to the ah, near value theorem, there, there must be a value c for the interval c. negative 1 you to 1, such so that f prime of c equals f prime of 1 minus f prime of negative 1 over 2, which equals 0. The function h is defined by h of x equals natural logarithm of f of x. Find h prime of 3 and show the computations that lead to your answer. Since h prime of x is the natural logarithm of f of x, then one can find h prime of x by using the chain rule. The derivative of, of the natural logarithm of f of x is 1 over f of x. This is multiplied with the, with the derivative of what's inside f prime of x. Of After multiplying, then we find that h prime of x equals f prime of x divided f of x. Then we, in order, we just plug in the numbers. So h prime of three equals f h f prime of three, which we find in the chart divided f of three equals one half over seven, which we can find in the chart equals. 1 over 14, so h prime of 3 is 1 14. Evaluate the definite integral from negative 2 to 3 of f prime of g of x times g prime of x dx. When we evaluate the definite integral from negative 2 to 3 of f prime of g of x times g prime of x dx, we're trying to find the antiderivative of this definite integral, which is pretty easy. It's f of g of x from negative 2 to 3. Therefore, we subtract f of g of 3 minus f of g of negative 2, which is f of 1 minus f of negative 1. And using the table above, we can find that f of 1 is 2 and f of negative 1 is 8. Therefore, 2 minus 8 equals 6. I'm